Good morning, YouTube. We are back in sunny Southern California. It is so nice outside. It's about 70, 75 degrees outside. The birds are singing. The I don't know. I guess whatever else happens in Southern California is happening. Uh, but right now, I am going to put up some bird feeders. I've got one kind of started. Uh, I've started to fill one of the bird feeders up right here. I've got a second one, a bag full of seed. Uh, we got these when we were in Corona. And we had them up, and Mojo actually ate a bird from the bird feeder. So we decided to take him down because we just, you know, didn't want Mojo outside eating birds. And we felt bad because we thought it was kind of our fault. But it was terrible. But that's what cats do, you know. They're predators. They hunt. They kill things. Um, and Mojo was an outside cat, so she actually ended up eating the bird. And, you know, just didn't kill it and leave it. But we're, we've decided that we're going to hang the bird feeders up in front of the house. We kind of have like a little garden area. It's very nice. There's lots of birds out there. And we like looking at birds. They're very pretty. And so we are going to put up the bird feeders again. Alrighty, and I've got this little cup here that I take full of bird seed. And I dump it in the bird feeder. And the second one is full. Now I just need to locate a tree to hang these bad boys. I kind of want to hang one in front of the window so we can, you know, look outside and see birds. I'm going to look around and find some good spots here. Alrighty, so we've got one bird feeder up. It's just looped around the tree here. And there is the second feeder hanging on the tree. I'm probably going to have to like old man it up and be like, Ah, you blasted squirrels, get away from my bird feeders, ah! My other arch nemesis, nemesis, the crow. We also have to finish unpacking. I've got all my dirty clothes from our trip right there. I'm washing towels. Um, April had a couple things in the dryer, sheets and stuff like that that she used. And Nikki's got to finish unpacking and we got to put all our stuff away from traveling. Isn't that right, big dog? What? What, little doodle strudel bear? Hello. Now I'm going to the bank. It's kind of boring, but. I gotta get done. What's up guys? Time to get back into my routine. Well, I didn't really. I didn't go for a run today. I usually go for a morning run and I'm still feeling a little bit sluggish. I will tomorrow though. I promise. I'll try. John went for a run today. I am so proud of him. Good job, John. Running, running, running. Running as fast as you can. So hard running around here. Yeah, it's all hills. Yeah, it's not like, oh, I'll just go run and get into shape on flat ground and then run up the hills. It's like, no, it's just hills. You start with hills. I was talking about that with, like, vlogs back ago when I first started running. I'm like, around here, it's up hills both ways. It's crazy. Hello, baby. Oh, look at you. You were smacking your butterflies and you rolled over, huh, she baby really girl? She like, moving around. I mean, she's, like, rolling and repositioning herself a lot. It's kind of weird. She'll yeah. move like two feet in one direction by just rolling. So we have water delivered to our house. And the guy came today and rang the doorbell at 7 a.m. 7 a.m. Isn't that weird, guys? Am I crazy? I feel like it's rude to ring someone's doorbell that early. I mean, 8 a.m. maybe I get it, but 7 a.m.? I feel like that's pushing it a little bit. Kind of like back in the day when you were kids, you know, you're like, you're not supposed to call your friend's house past 9 p.m. The f do we have landline? I don't know. I was already up because Iris is still on Minnesota time. She tried to wake up at 5 a.m. and I was like, pacifier in your mouth, go back to sleep. Hey, is tummy time a little rough? Doodle Bear, how are you doing today? Are you doing swell? Yes. Kenobi? Did you bark at 7 a.m. and wake up John when the doorbell rang? That's a nap day for me. You're gonna take a nap? Yeah, at some point later. <laughs> I actually took a nap today too since I had to wake up so early and Iris wakes up multiple times a night. I was like, here you go, John. Let me sleep for a couple more hours. I do not know what I did with Iris's little baby dishwashing soap. It's not in <laughs> this mess of stuff that I put on the table. What the heck? Where did it go? Maybe I left it at John's dad's house. 
All right, well, since I'm sterilizing Iris's new pacifiers, I guess I'll wash her old one by sterilizing that too. So whenever you get new like pacifiers and bottles and stuff, you're supposed to sterilize it by boiling it in water for a little bit. So I'm gonna do that because I got her some new pacifiers. See if we can get that burner to go. It's kind of weird sometimes. Sometimes you actually, actually gotta light it. I don't know why it always scares me. I don't know why it always scares me when it lights like it's gonna explode or something. Okay, boil that now. Had to pick her up, I heard her whining in here. Hi, honey. Hi. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Do, 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 do. I don't really get how a baby's mind works. She rolls over on her tummy and then whines because she's on her tummy. Then you take her off of her tummy, put her onto her back, and she rolls back onto her tummy and starts whining again. The cycle starts all over. Yeah, we're talking about you. Are we talking what about, about you? you? But you're just trying to learn. Oh I think God. you just get frustrated that Chubby you can't crawl. Little Is that it? You just wish you could crawl? She probably wants to drive. You think that's it? She wants to drive your Bronco. Hmm, that's not happening for like ever. <laughs> My blender's broken, so I bought these like straight up vegetable juices, like nothing else added in there to sweeten it up or anything like that. 100% vegetable juice, like veggies went into a juicer and they bottled it. And I've been drinking this. And it tastes so horrible. It's yucky. I wish junk food was good for you. Wouldn't that be nice? I just want to be healthy. Uh, beets and carrots and roots. My daily roots, good source of vitamin A and C. Are you guys entertaining Iris? She's watching. I know, she's she stopped again. crying. Wow, that's amazing. Take this one. The one you like isn't done yet. Come on, it's almost the same. There. Uh, <laughs> I'll just chew on the side then. She's been really into grabbing stuff with her hands lately. It's kind of a struggle when she really wants to have a pacifier in her mouth, but she wants to like grab it at the same time. So she'll take it out and then cry that it's not in her mouth. And then I'll put it back in and then she'll take it out again and cry. <laughs> Okay, so here's the old one, and here are the two new ones. The nipples look the same, right? She's not gonna hate these ones too. It's the same. It's the same thing, isn't it? Bloop! 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 You cool with that one? It'll just be like five minutes. Bibbers! Bibbles! Wow! <laughs> Notte giorno di torno girano, delle belle trovando al riposo, ma ci se tua tu cibo d'amor. Delle belle trovando al riposo, ma ci se tua tu cibo d'amor. Okay, it is the moment of truth. Do you like the new one? It's pretty much the same. Yes? Yes? Yeah. Yay! The birds haven't found the bird feeders yet. Aww. Okay, I think Iris is due for a nap, so I am going to rock her to sleep, and then when she wakes up, we're gonna take some pictures. So I'll get her dressed all nice. Well, there's a certain picture that we do wanna take. So right now I'm cooking up a bunch of turkey burgers. I'm gonna have one for lunch today and then I'll stock them up in the fridge so that they're easy to make. I can just nuke them in the microwave and have a quick lunch. So I got turkey burgers because they're kind of healthy and very lean. Got them cooking here right now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at little baby Iris's outfit today. It's so cute. We're gonna take a picture of her in this. This is like a little polka dotted mini skirt. You're so pretty! Oh. Hello. Smelling 
good in your boxers? Mm. No? No, it just bugs me when you wear my boxers. Why? Would that bug you? Because they're mine. Yeah, but that's just what girls do. I don't wear your like thongs. Me. One time you did. And I'm not cutting that out. <laughs> He did when he was drunk one time. He came up and he was like, Hey, look at me, everybody! Well, not everybody, just me. <laughs> but, no, I jumped on the trampoline and then I got hot, so I took my jeans off and put your boxers on instead. That was hot. I don't think I have any, like, shorts that fit me. That were, like, mine. Before I got pregnant. Maybe you could buy me some shorts as a present. Go to Victoria's Secret, some Victoria's Secret pajama shorts. Why are you talking to me? I've got nothing to say to you. You're that mad about my box? Were you wearing your boxers? I wore them like all the time when I was pregnant. Okay. That was like all that fit. You didn't say anything about it then. Stretched them all out. I did not. I was not bigger than you when I was pregnant. I mean, my stomach was obviously, but not like here. Mm. You're being mean. Stop just filming me and not saying anything. I have nothing to say to you. You're a weirdo. <laughs> Look, she's all about grabbing her feet now. Did you find your feet? New discovery. <laughs> Did that fart catch on camera? <laughs> you just farted. What was up with that? I thought guys like when their significant others wear their clothes. There's like, there's songs about it. No makeup, hair tied, chillin' with my t-shirt on. That's when you the prettiest, I hope that you don't get it wrong. Something like that. That's a song. It exists. This is my lean clean lunch. Turkey burger patty and some edamame quinoa salad. I'll try to be good again about watching what I eat. We'll see how long that lasts. Lola, you're not even tough. Lola, Lola, what are you gonna do? What is she gonna do? I think someone's here. But try to be good again. We'll see how long that lasts. I always stray a little bit. Mr. Boo. Hi, Simon Boo. Oh, big cat stretch. <laughs> yeah, oh, you stay away from my lunch. No, no, kitty. That's my turkey. All right, guys, I'm gonna get some chores done and I'm gonna wear iris while I do it. Since that seemed to be so helpful when I did that last time, I was able to get some stuff done. What do you think, little girl? Looking around, do you like when I wear you? Choo, choo, choo. Your little clip has fallen to the side. Well, we can take that out for now. I'm gonna wash some of her new baby stuff that she got at her baptism party. Like this, I think she'll really like to hold that and touch it. I'm gonna wash some of her old stuff too, her dirty clothes. Look how cute these little slippers are that she got. She got little bunny slippers, but they're from three to six months, so we better hurry up and get them so that she can wear them now. Simon, king of the pile of stuff, always. Boobaloos! I actually didn't even know that you get gifts at a baptism. I was surprised when someone told me, oh, you're gonna be getting lots of gifts for Iris. Some new stuff. Oh, that would be a good photo to put in that frame, wouldn't it? Kind of has all of us in there with her godfather when she's about to be baptized, get the water on her head. Now we gotta get this picture taken. So John really wants a picture of Iris riding Kenobi to cherish forever. And well, we kind of have one, but the lighting isn't that great in it. So we're gonna do it outside where it's sunny and get a nice pretty picture. What? Yeah. Nobi? Oh. <laughs> We're gonna take this out in the sun. John said it's really important to him to get this picture of Iris. I'm so excited about this lemon tree. We'll be able to make lemonade from real lemons out of our backyard. Isn't that neat? Oh yeah, that is pretty neat. Anyway, I'm gonna have... Anyway, John's gonna be the one holding Iris on Kenobi and I'm gonna take the picture Kenobi. because... Um, like Kenobi, Kenobi was John's dog before we were even dating, yeah, so you know Kenobi's getting a little older. That's why John wants this photo, and so I'm gonna take it Kenobi and have dog. snap this memory, 
have it be with them. I think I have some okay pictures, but let me tell you what, it's not easy to photograph a baby and a dog and get them both looking at the same time and making a face. Kenobi kept wanting to sit down. I think we have one that we can be happy with. Iris should be a little baby model. Iris is pretty good though. She doesn't fuss when she's taking pictures. I think she really likes when the camera's out, to be honest. Because, like, even if she's fussing inside, as soon as I take the camera out, she's like, Oh, hi. How's everyone doing? Me? I don't cry. No, no. I love the camera. This is the picture we chose and are getting framed. Can you give me a bowl? A bowl? Yeah, look how many. There's just, like, way more lemons on the tree still. Whoa, I got a baby. Check out my lemons. Yeah. Jonathan, don't you? Well, I'm going to make lemonade, but yeah, go get a bowl. And I'll finish picking lemons. Wow, look at that. One or two is still a little green, but for the most part, they're all ripe. That's a lot of lemons. Thor, this ball goes inside. Inside, come on, get your ball. Good boy. He's looking at the lemons like, oh, but I gotta get the lemons. Ooh, it's kind of hard to walk two dogs and vlog at the same time. So before we left for Minnesota, we started going on little family walks and we start, we're starting back up again. So we're going now, we got all the dogs and little Iris. So I'm walking Thor and Lola. Doodle likes to pull. Got Kenobi here. And look. He'd be a good sled dog. Who, Thor? Yeah. Uh, yeah, but he couldn't pull that much. Maybe like a little baby sled dog. Mm -hmm. Babies. John is that galifianacking us it up. <laughs> She likes walking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Iris really loves going on walks. Even before we started our family walks, I would try to take Iris on a walk every day because it would make her fuss less. She's less fussy when, she, we, when we go for walks. Well, she doesn't fuss at all on the walks, but I think the fresh air helps her sleep better. You know, my mom was <laughs> kept saying that to me when she was a newborn, that they, babies need to be outside and get fresh air because it helps them sleep better. And I found it to be true, in Iris's case. John really likes to wear the baby Bjorn. How do you know? Because you said that. I mean, you asked to wear it. No, I was about to put it on. I was gonna wear it. No, the first time we went on our family walk, you were like, I want to wear the baby Bjorn. Okay. It, it happened. Yep. The dogs really love this too. They love when we all go together. Iris, do you like looking at everything? Hey, pretty girl. <gasps> Look at all the nature around you. You love trees. Do you like looking at the trees? John. John, I can Maggie. wait. <laughs> John. <Maggie. laughs> John. <Maggie>. Stop. <laughs> I can wear the baby Bjorn. Okay. I have no problem wearing it. I just thought you liked it. You're too weak. You're too weak? No, you're too weak. I honestly, I thought that you just really enjoyed carrying her in it. You Good just... Exercise. Okay, you just like to sound like a brat in the videos? Maybe. <laughs> it is great to be back home. This beautiful, wonderful weather in Southern California, even though it's going to be a little rainy for the next few days. But whatever. I'll take rain over freezing cold temperatures any day. We got that great picture of Kenobi today. I put up those bird feeders. I'm just waiting for them birds to come around and start eating them bird feed stuff. It's going to be so cool. I really like feeding the birds. I like hearing them and I like seeing them. And occasionally, every once in a while, you see like a really cool bird on your bird feeder. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, I don't know. I think Nikki and Iris are happy to be home. We're just going to kind of settle back into our everyday routine and get back into the grind of making YouTube videos and working hard and having fun. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Favorite this video, and we'll see you next time. Booberry, Boo Boo Skirton.